Ndiyabuli Sakuni ba mamele na mabukeli emakaya. Welcome to Unmasking African Truths by African Hidden Voices, a research organization that aims to retrace the steps of our African indigenous spiritual heroes and heroines. If you did miss the insert is two of the past weeks, please do go to our um, YouTube channel, African Hidden Voices. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to leave a comment because we love hearing from you. Kule Vegi, we are discussing immaterialism, the downfall of the African indigenous people. African people were revered as the most humblest uh, people who truly embodied equality of Ubuntu a concept that was birthed by African indigenous spirituality. The concept of Ubuntu, it, I am because you are. Um, Abantu Bamnyama have forsaken African indigenous spirituality, Yabo, thus they lost Le Fekta Ebalu Lekile, Yobuntu, um, and have perpetrated or rather popularized into it, African indigenous spirituality is an act of um, darkness. According to his stats that were released um, uh, uh, in a uh, Makala Lonyaga in 2023, Guti was 75 uh, people are killed on a daily basis in South Africa. He says now, yeah, keep as as his deaths that um, he murder kill, he murder has increased by 3.4 percent in South Africa, and a large number of these killings are a result of imuti um killing um by which is Mamel now Makai. It is important to note that when we speak about um which is as tating a zangoma, a zangoma ayongabo abatagati umtu obulala umtu oganye um. A person who encourages ugunola is not a sangoma. Lom tulo ayo is a sangoma. Lom tulo is umtagati. Mamele, for every problem, there is always a solution. And as always, and I'm in there, and I'm now in Bonn, who talk to us, let's go, and I'm an African indigenous spiritual um, guide, um, a qualified theologian and a qualified herbalist. In Bonn is here to assist us to unpack um, this topic, at immaterialism, it downfall, yabantu, abamnyama. Tata, what spiritual guidance can be offered to Abandu Abamnyama um, to go back to India and stop chasing into your materialism? Yeah, I'm not quite sure about the question what spiritual guidance can be given. Uh, I think uh, it's a little bit longer, Leo, because it will always depend the context in terms of saying, yes, the subject is materialism, why Bandaba Myama say we are materialistic, but it will depend on individuals or certain situations. I think it is already what Oishi was saying by saying what caused the problem. You already said it's like Uklata spirituality seed, which was what used to guide us. Spirituality seed, Yusu Sasis guide. Um, that also assisted us not to be materialistic people. Now, when I'm about to confuse the word materialistic, you are saying, 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 you are you know what I'm saying, you must just wear clothes or whatever, you are saying, or if you have that small house, you are saying, that not, has nothing to do with being materialistic. Um, you can have good things, you can have great things, and we all want, but still not. as a materialistic person. It has nothing to do with you are driving a German car or unemaling. To be materialistic, um, I think Yonki Indo has a balance, is to be extreme, is a person or a sukonza into is materialistic. For you, they, they, have, they mean they have a more meaning than many other, thing, than other, other things. To an extent that you will kind of do anything, even immoral or illegal, uh, to then acquire material things. I think for me, that is what to be materialistic means. We need to explain that. We live in a world, Abandu has any views that really See among us how they think. So, to be materialistic, as a bandaba myama, you can see what he or we we honestly not materialistic. As much as um, when we talk o bit, of course we'll talk as tinamanguni here now. But then we can go back to our our, our great 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 ancestors, Africans from Egypt to whatever civilization became there. 
I mean, um, up to to take Zakutwa in Egypt. Kukutwa matune pharaohs because pharaohs died and left together with their material things. He called Zadis Dulo. And a lot of those artifacts today, they are in libraries, they are in museums. And he, he, they are quite expensive. It's real gold, not only gold, but you can see how they were, they were done. Uh, our ancestors were, were people of beauty, were arts, were people of, uh, 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 they knew things that are beautiful and things that are valuable. They're not just, just gold, the A, B, and Z, where it was shaped well. They had good chairs. And uh, even those things, if they could be sold today, they could cost that those funny furniture. They could be the most expensive furniture that you can have. And, uh, and, uh, and are owned by, by very rich people. So again, I'm trying to say, you look and say they were not materialistic yet. No, they were not materialistic because in Kizu Zabu were not in those things. And you must also remember, uh, I'm just trying to play devil's advocate. Others can say they were because why Bashona Nazo. It has nothing to do with that. It, it was because of the Pharaoh believed the afterlife. Yeah. It has to do about the belief of the afterlife. Not that increase was more on material things. So Africans, we have been, Sazwa is abandaba simple, yet as I'm explaining again, Egyptians, not that simplicity means our years in temple. Not that simplicity means you don't acquire material things. Okokobetu acquired, by the way, babefui. Today we are in Komazu 50. Babefui alababantu. And that was the wealth yabo. They had riches. They acquired things. Yet they were simple because they were more spiritual than this uh, generation today. Now, um, you mentioned Ubuntu. Uh, 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 how can or what can we do for African people not to no longer be this greedy or be materialistic? Uh, you spoke of Ubuntu. We need to go back to e e spirituality. See, it's the only way in us guide back to what we were before and stop being so materialistic. One of them, Ubuntu, that we've already mentioned. I'm going to mention another one, and that is, remember, e African indigenous spirituality teaches us to be abandaba sacrificial. That's another one I'm going to teach you. Those were part of things... Um, in the olden days, when our ancestors were more spiritual, Nagangeni, as in beliefs and religions, that they used to, it used to assist them, Bangaba, so materialistic, the sacrifice. Remember, through African indigenous spirituality, uh, Okoko would plant their seed, plant Ilokozani's Jalozabo, which was, was, was a currency of They would sell those Lokozana and also eat them. So that was quite important. After planting, into Kalababayenza, they would take his funus of Kalabas, that is sacrifice. And that sacrifice then uh, circumcises the heart. Not in Kizio, in Aba, too much attached to Infuyoyak. Uh, because Segata 10%, remember to take away from what you have, it's a minus. In Kizio is a But that minus, it helped them and gave them discipline in order to say, in 90% is an L. You see, greediness, I say, Komanjila. Because the greediness cannot take 10 and 10% or take part of Infuyo and give it away. In Zio says, no, 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 no. Instead of giving away, I want more. So already, his sacrifice, Nobum Kachelo, was a form or one of the forms under. African spiritual guidance, Dala, that assisted our ancestors to not to have greedy hearts because immaterialism is colored by greediness or the other way around. You start being a materialistic person, it already you are going to be greedy. Uh, like, for example, you, you mentioned now before shooting that these young girls today. Uh, selling themselves. They are doing things. They are actually selling their bodies just for Uchwal. Because we see these things where this girl goes and sleeps with a very old man and whatever. And simply just for Uchwal. Because we, we hear stories that uh, uh, these men will go to their table and start buying them Uchwal. 
and you'll hear them bragging, you would hear Bapu expensive, hey, this guy came, was still expensive. And most of them know, Uti, after that, by us, Uti, what's going to happen? You know, they have to go with this man. Uh, and, and, and actually, very painful, I heard another story of a similar thing that happened. But apparently, uh, when they left with this girl, this guy from Gwendao Chaibak Zone, slept with this lady. Then in the morning, this girl then said to this guy, okay, then, I think 10,000, 15,000. So the guy said, no, 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 what are you talking about now? Uh, are you a prostitute or what? She says, no, but I mean, he said, no, but we were at Jaiweni. I bought you there. Sahamba, you came willingly. You know what you are going to be doing. Why wake up now in the morning and then you are now telling me, because that was not the agreement. I'll tell you, okay, listen, Neman. Then the girl says, okay, that's fine. If I was on Gipa, let me tell you now. I will go and say, and the, and the guy obviously thought the guy, the, the girl is bluffing. It can't be because they seen an agreement. How did he, really the guy, uh, when I heard the story, truly speaking, he was arrested. And we all know, yeah, the reason why that these girls do this, they know the power of a rape today in the wrong manner. Uh, so the guy was arrested. Waboshwa, Lam Kritikala, the guy cried, the lady cried, said um tati and whatever the case, because the guy refused to give the money. So that's a prostitute. So we have if a new form of prostitution today, and it's all becoming because our young ladies they are becoming more materialistic. Uh, more materialistic. And so I call nothing's going to assist. Nothing's going to assist. Uh, and until we deal with matters spiritually. And as I'm saying, uh, one of them, Ubuntu, taught us Ubuntu. And obviously, there'll be other things that spirituality taught us in the past, seeing attached or become materialistic uh, people. So we need to be people of sacrifice. Sacrifice, yeah, it circumcises you. It helps you to, to be a giver. It helps you to be content. So I, 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 and, and uh, spiritual guide as konamandulo, it helped me to live with that 90%. You understand? I had to, because I knew that's the way things were done in the past. La 90, you have never been able to live with that 90 See, the guy. The greediness is gone now. Now, nothing is telling us now, nothing does that in the world we live in, because we are living in a world where people are under no guidance. And actually, they are under the guidance of the government and the guidance of media. And what is governments and media is teaching us? It's a world. It's telling us that we are free. Live your life the way you want. Do whatever you want. So what's going to guide us not to be materialistic? What's going to circumcise in Kizyozi to, to be content with what we have? Nothing, because there's no guidance. We need to live under a guidance. And in this case, not for me, religious guidance or other kind. We need spiritual guidance. That's the solution uh, that will help us as African people to not to be materialistic. Data for that um, very in-depth and profound um, explanation and um, a solution to learn like as began in as an African indigenous people. My male now began in Makaya was very uti a foundation here to must be our spirituality for us to overcome as Nagi as Begane and Nazo as an African indigenous people. Thank you so much for joining us, Namshanje. Please do join us again, Living as I am.